Yo, what's good, y'all? We are back, dude. This is war number 11, GT40 versus New Nation. This is a pretty big war for us, dude. If we win this war, we basically have war champ locked because we have a win-win lead, at least on everyone, every other alliance in the game right now. So after this, there's only one more war. So yeah, we're, we're gonna be fine. Um, but we have to win this war. Um, yeah, we're bringing in crossbones today. We're gonna have a pretty big war. We have eight fights total, including the boss. And I think I'm the last one in my BG to clear. So, yeah, at this point in the war, we're 2-2 two and two on deaths against New Nation. So, we don't want to die. We don't want to lose. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't call it the lead. We don't want to lose the tie. We do have a lead on fight time. So, I mean, as long as we don't die here, we're going to be fine. But yeah, we're starting off crossbones versus spot. This is super... Super chill fight. Um, we got my power side one boost. We're throwing the special one. We got clarity now, or now we got clarity. Um, and now we're just gonna we're just gonna smash dude. We're smashing. Um, yeah, crossbones. I've taken spots probably like every war, almost every war. It's super super easy, super chill. The special two almost puts him down, but not quite. I think we're just gonna combo him, and he's dead. So yeah, chill fight. Good first, <laughs> good first one. Um, next up we have a bullseye over here. We're gonna use Onslaught here. This is this is my first time using Onslaught in a war. I've, I use Onslaught a bunch in Battleground, so I'm familiar with how he works. Um, I fought bullseyes like almost every day, multiple times a day in, in BGs. <laughs> it's gonna be easier here because we have the Incinerate um, from the node to ramp us up a little bit, so we don't have to go special one, special two. We just go special one here. And, or no, just go special two here. But I do make a boo at some point. So we got the Incinerate, so we're ramping up a little bit. We're about to get to our special two, and then I think we go for the heavy here, pause him, then we just go special two, and then, yeah, he's melting right now. Um, I do, I missed the, I, I was trying to go for a repair, but he didn't go for the second light attack, and he goes for heavy, so I'm like, I'm gonna heavy counter it, but I forgot about his evade, so, <laughs> yeah, um, just brain fart. Um, it's fine, honestly, it's a tank, we can, we can eat a special one or two. Um, but yeah, moving on, we are going to go to path 7 in section 2, and there's an Iron Man Infinity War to start us off. This is, this is a nothing crossbones fight. Um, he doesn't really do anything on this node either. So, yeah, crossbones are going to shut down his armors, he's going to shut down the auto block. I mean, clarity shuts down the auto block too, you're just going to shut down the armor so you get more damage. Um, yeah, it's pretty chill. Chill. Gonna go light, light, special one, trigger, overrun, and then we just go for heavy just to pause it real quick. Um, we don't really need to pause it that much because we have the Mangox energy today, but I, when I play Crossbones, I always just throw it. Whenever you can, you, it's really good to throw in heavy attacks because you don't want to lose your Furies. That's like the worst thing you can do. Um, so even when you don't think you need a heavy, I just heavy anyway. But yeah, now Iron Man's dead. That was super, super easy, super chill. And now we are moving on. We have this Killmonger here. We're gonna use Onslaught for the next two fights. So I threw on Suicides um, just because, you know, Onslaught, he is bleed resistant. So he's gonna heal from the bleed. And um, I mean, the poison doesn't really do anything ever since they fixed how Suicide scale with boosts. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be chill. Um, we just need to go special one, special two here, and that'll definitely end the fight. Um, Killmonger's gonna get a lot of power from the node, and also Onslaught's personal debuffs. So I am throwing on an interval boost just in case I need to tank a special three. But yeah, it's gonna be fine. This is a this is a chill chill fight. Um, I think we're just we're just hitting him. Yep, chilling, chilling. Um, I'm just gonna heavy counter his special attacks whenever I can to uh, you know keep my stuff paused because it's just good practice, man. You don't want to lose your narrow shocks. Um, yeah, so heavy special one here, and then we just need to go special two, and he's just gonna get deleted after that. So yeah, Obsots, he's a he's a dog, bro. I like this guy. I'm a fan. Um. Yeah, I think it's just slow building up power because I have to bait so many special attacks. Which, you know, he was actually really nice. He was throwing them, like, all the time. So, can't complain. Got pretty good AI here. Um, I think we just need to bait one more special attack. Then we go... Oh, 
I think we just throw it here. Just dash back. There we go. Now he's dead. So yeah, he just got destroyed. So good cook with Onslaught. You could also crossbones that fight, but Onslaught's definitely safer. Um, yeah. Next up, we are going to take this sassy here with Onslaught as well, because this is the Ebb and Flow knockdown, and it also has the debuff immunity on knockdown. So Onslaught can parry him even when he's debuff immune, because it just becomes a passive stun. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty chill fight. Um, yeah, it's going to be the same idea, special and special 2. And he's gonna go down. So we have the invul on just in case Sassy is mean and he goes special three. Or if we get like a big special attack with like 10 prowess, you probably don't want to do you don't, don't want to not have an invul because <laughs> you're gonna get one shot in. Um so yeah, we're just hitting him, knocking him down. We are going to do we um, he throws a special one, that's nice. A little parry, do we go heavy special one? Oh, now we go heavy special one. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. Fight's halfway done, we just need a special 2 now, and then he's going to dead. So, a little heavy attack, keep it paused, and then... I think he enters Wrath pretty early here, which was a little bit annoying because I couldn't time it right with my uh, with my special 2. I wanted to... yeah, so he triggered Wrath right there, but I'm not at my special 2 yet, so I'm like, damn it, I gotta hit him some more. Um, which is unfortunate, but it's fine, we're just gonna play it safe, just wait it out. Um, Keep, heavy to keep a pause, but we're not going to throw our special 2 yet, because we don't want to accidentally push into special 3, because that, that would be really, really bad. Um, so we're just going to use the special... Oh, we go for the heavy to knock down, take off the protection. But now he's being mean. I remember, he was being mean, he wasn't throwing special 2. So now we're losing the timer on the ebb and flow knockdown. So I'm like, bro, are you for real? And he's for real. But he throws it, so we're, he has protection on, but I'm going to throw my special 2 anyway to dump my power. And it knocks him down. But now he's dead because, yeah, a lot of damage. So he was a little bit mean. I couldn't get a really good opening throw my special 2 at the start, but it was fine. It worked out. Um, next up, we're just going to use crossbones for the last three fights. Invisible Woman here. This is a rank 3 Invisible Woman, which is cool rank up. <laughs> no, I, I know she has people who like her. Um, I don't like her. Um, but hey, more power to you guys, man. Um, we go power start one here. We're gonna use it for the next three fights because um, Crath ones likes his power start ones. And then, yeah, this is a nothing fight. I, I don't know what she's supposed to do here. Um, she's just gonna die basically really, 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 really fast. Um, we're gonna go parry, parry, light, light, special one. And then trigger overrun. And then. Now she's she's done. Dead. It's over. Um, I don't think she throws another special attack. Um, yeah, combo special 2. And then... Dead. Or almost dead. Special 2, dead. So yeah. Super chill. Super, super chill. Next up, we have a MODOK here. And I don't like taking this MODOK without the Taskmaster synergy. You're gonna see why. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. I'd rather have the Mandog synergy for Quicksilver boss rather than the Taskmaster synergy for the Modok mini boss. Like, I'm not gonna die, hopefully, to a mini boss. <laughs> You're more likely to die to the boss. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use the synergy on the boss rather than the mini boss. Um, so usually I would like to trigger Overrun here and then throw a special one. And then that would get me clarity when I have Taskmaster, but you can see that that didn't really work out because I mean I wouldn't have had clarity. But now we're, we're fine. We have clarity now. So yeah, the Taskmaster synergy gives you two extra Fury buffs when you trigger Overrun. So that when you throw a special one and you you trigger Overrun with the Taskmaster synergy, you have clarity. So you you shut down the node or the tactic really really fast with Taskmaster. But it's fine, I just ate, ate a few hits, which is perfectly fine. Like, Crossbones, he's not going to get one combo from Modok. Um, so, yeah, it's just going to cost me a potion. Oh, that's fine, who cares. Um, but now we have a much safer Quicksilver fight that we're going to use Crossbones for. Um, yeah. So I took him once earlier this season because they banned Null and Venom, who were really good options for Quicksilver. Um, 
but yeah, we're gonna heal up. We're gonna go back in. We still have our power star run boost on. Um, and the strat here is just push him to special two. There are special two. Watch him die. I uh, special one, special two is the strat against Quicksilver. Um, yeah, I have power back boost on, so my special two is gonna give me a decent amount of power when I have if I have enough Furies. Um, so here, just gonna go special one. Um, we get a whiplash on us, so I'm gonna parry real quick to take it off because I didn't shrug it. Um, unfortunate, but it's cool. Now we trigger overrun. We have clarity, so the fight's done now. Um, yeah, Quicksilver is a hero, so you get you do get extra um, fury buffs from special one and overrun. Um, but I mean, Modok he's not a hero, so that's why it doesn't work for him. But yeah, special two does a lot of damage. He's he's going down. He's going down quick. Um, we're gonna bait the special two. We're just gonna block it. I'm not gonna not gonna try to dex it or heavy punish it because I don't have to. You can see he's literally almost dead. Um, I'm just gonna trigger overrun again and then this next combo relic combo is gonna put it down. So combo relic combo and then special one and push in red but it doesn't matter because he's dead. So yeah that was a super easy super chill quick silver fight. Um, Crossbones with that dog. Um, so yeah that was the war and here's the final results dude we did end up two and two at the end of the war still so we won on fight time super close war gg's in new nation but yeah we're gonna call it here we have one more war for the season but we're basically locked in for war champ um so yeah appreciate y'all watching catch you guys later